Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, we will learn about functions and their representation. First of all, let us see what are functions. Let A be be two non-empty sets. Then a function or mapping from A to B is a rule which associates every element X of a set A to a unique element Y of the set B. Then we write F is a function from A to B such that y is equal to f of x where x belongs to A and y belongs to B. So here y is called the image of x and is denoted by f of x. Now the set of different values of x is called domain of a function and the set of different values of y is called a range of a function. Now a relation from A to B is said to be a function if all elements of set A are used up and an element of set A is not paired with more than one element of set B. Now to illustrate this, let us discuss one example in which in the first part R1 is the relation from A to B, in the second part R2 is the relation from C to D and in the third part R3 is the relation from E to F. And all of them are represented with the arrow diagram. Now we have to examine which of them are functions and which are not. Now if any of the relations will satisfy these two conditions, then that relation will be a function. Now in the first part R1 is the relation from A to B, but here we can see that all the elements of set A are not used up. That is, 3 which is the element of set A is not used up. That means it is not connected with any of the elements of set B. Therefore, the relation R1 is not a function. Now in the second part, R2 is the relation from C to D. And here you can see that 4 
which is the element of C, is paired with two elements of set D. That is, 4 is paired up with D and E, which are the elements of set D. So it is not satisfying the second condition for a function. Therefore, R2 is not a function. Now in the third part, R3 is the relation from E to F. Now here you can see that all the elements of set E are used up also, an element of set E is not paired up with more than one element of set F. That is, elements of set E are paired exclusively with one element of set F. So it is satisfying both the conditions for a function. Therefore, R3 is a function. Now let us discuss how to represent a function. Now a function can be represented in rows to form by arrow diagram, by equation in set builder form or it can be represented by a graph. Now consider a relation R which is equal to the set containing the ordered pairs 0, minus 1, 1, 4, 2, 9 and 3, 14 which is a function. Now let us represent this function in the rows to form. So in the rows to form, we can write this function as f is equal to the set containing the ordered pairs 0, minus 1, 1, 4, 2, 9 and 3, 14. Now let us represent the given function by the arrow diagram. Now given F is equal to the set containing the ordered pairs 0, minus 1, 1, 4, 2, 9 and 3, 14. Now for representing the given function with the help of arrow diagram, first of all we will draw two rectangles. Now in the first rectangle, we will write the first components of all the ordered pairs in the given function. So these are the first components of all the ordered pairs. So we will write in the first rectangle 0, 1, 2 and 3. And in the second rectangle, we will write the second components of all the ordered pairs in the given function, which are minus 1, 4, 9 and 14. Now 0 is related with minus 1 so we will connect 0 and minus 1 with the help of an arrow. Now 1 is related with 4 so we will connect 1 with 4. Similarly we will connect 2 with 9 and 3 with 14. Now f is a function, so we can say in the first rectangle we are having different values of x and for these different values of x we are getting in the second rectangle the different values of y and y is equal to f of x. Now let us represent this function in the equation form.
Now the function f can be represented by the equation y is equal to 5x minus 1 or f of x is equal to 5x minus 1. Now these are the different values of x. So by putting x is equal to 0, y is equal to 5x minus 1 will be equal to 5 into 0 minus 1 which is equal to 0 minus 1 which is equal to minus 1. And the ordered pair will be 0 minus 1 which is this ordered pair in the given function. Similarly, these ordered pairs will also satisfy this equation. Therefore, the rule of the relation is 1 less than 5 times. Now let us see how to represent the given function in such builder form. Now the given function can be represented as f is equal to a set containing the ordered pair x, y such that y is equal to 5x minus 1. So this is the representation of the function in set filter form. Now let us discuss how to represent the given function by a graph. Now given the function f is a set containing the ordered pairs 0, minus 1, 1, 4, 2, 9 and 3, 14. Now to represent this function on a graph, we will plot these points on the graph. First of all, let us plot the point 0, minus 1. So this is the point 0, minus 1 on the graph. Now let us plot the point 1, 4 on the graph. So this is the point 1, 4 on the graph. Similarly, we will plot these two points on the graph. So we have plotted all the points on the graph. Now by joining all these points, we are getting the graph of the given function which is represented by the equation y is equal to 5x minus 1. So in this session we have learnt about functions and methods of representing functions. So this completes our session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.